Chef Pam. Welcome to my kitchen. Today we're working on a basic pork chop and we're using farmer Jeremy Boswell's beautiful Berkshire pork. When it comes to you, um, it will be frozen, so you need to use the proper techniques to thaw it out. Make sure that you do it in the refrigerator. It takes about, you know, you can do it overnight. It takes probably a full day for these to thaw out. Um, if you don't want to take that long to thaw them out, place them in cold water and change the water every 30 minutes until they're thawed. All right, so I'm looking at this. I see it has a little bit more fat than I want. Um, fat is good, fat is flavor, but too much fat, you know, we, we don't need. So I'm going to take some of this fat off. And then we're going to do a three-step breading procedure. And all that is is flour, an egg wash, and then I like to use panko breadcrumbs. You can use Italian breadcrumbs if you like. I use kosher salt, and then I like this restaurant grind black pepper. It's a little uh, heavier than, or coarser than um, regular grind pepper. And I like to put a little bit of salt and pepper in the flour. I have eggs here that I'm going to just whisk up and then my panko breadcrumbs. And to that, I'm actually going to add a little bit of salt, pepper, a little bit of herbs, some thyme and rosemary, and just mix that all up. Okay, so the step is you first place it in the flour. It does make a mess. Then into the egg wash. And then into the panko breadcrumbs. Do this with all of your chops. Okay, so I have my hot pans going here with some olive oil and in go my pork chops. A little sizzle, we like to hear that. We don't want to overcrowd them because they'll steam rather than caramelize. And we want that great caramelization. All right, we're going to leave these alone for a while, let them brown up. We'll, once they're golden brown, we'll flip them over and finish them on the other side. Okay, let's check it. Oh, how beautiful. Look at that, perfect color. If it's necessary, just add a little more oil. This looks fine. Okay, once the pork chops are done, you want to make sure that you cook them to 160 internally. Okay, these are done. We're going to remove them, but we're going to keep the brown bits and what we call fond on the bottom of the pot skillet. And that is what we're going to use for our sauce. I like to do a lemon butter caper sauce. It's so easy, here's how we do it. To your hot pan, we're going to add the butter. Melt that. Now we're going to add three tablespoons of rinsed capers. And all we have to do now is squeeze a little bit of lemon juice right over top. Okay. This goes directly over your pork chops. Thanks for watching. Jeremy Boswell's meat came from his beautiful Emmett Ridge farm. You can go to cookingwithchefpam.com for all of the details.